Hiya. In this video, I'm going to be replacing the stock steering wheel on the 323. There's a couple of reasons why I wanted to do this. Uh, the first of all, obviously it looks better. Uh, you can't go wrong with an aftermarket steering wheel. And also, I don't think these cars were designed and built for large people like me. So, um, yeah, as, uh, as shameful as it is to admit, it is a, a bit of a squeeze sometimes getting in and out of this. Um, so yeah, that's going to be another another reason why. Um, obviously, driver comfort is a big factor. Um, so yeah, why not kill two birds with one stone? So Tom, the previous owner, um, gave me a steering wheel boss with the car. Um, he didn't know what my plans were, so um, luckily it did. So it saved me a few pennies. So got that just here. Um, it's a HKB boss. So it's not a, a cheap boss from Timu or AliExpress or any of these other selling sites. So um, yeah, I'll flick the camera around and show you the steering wheel I got. So the stock steering wheel is 375 mil across. So I wanted something a little bit smaller. Um, most of the ones I could find were 150 mil. Um, you think, oh, okay, like an inch smaller is going to be plenty, um, but I don't think it it was. So, um, so yeah, I don't, I don't mind the stock steering wheel. I quite like these horn buttons, which don't work, hence why I had to wire in a horn button early on. Uh, I have seen a Mark One MX-5 import, so the Unos Roadster steering wheel. Um, that's quite a smart looking steering wheel, but that's 350 or 355 um, and I didn't want to spend the money buying that to then find out it's still going to be too big for what I need. So to try and keep it um, 90s themed I suppose you could say, um, so it's sort of period correct with the car. Um, I was trying to find a Momo, ideally. Um, or Sparco, OMP, that kind of thing. Um, even an old Nardi would have been quite cool. Um, but it needs to fit in with the styling and um, path I want to take the car. So it was quite tricky. And also trying, trying to find one which was smaller than this or 350 was quite difficult. They all seem to be 350 from um, back in the day. So um, after many many hours of searching and um, more messages that I can remember I finally found this so the camera will pick it up so it is considerably smaller I think it fits inside of the original so this is a Momo tuner this is 320 mil comes with the it's sort of like a, I don't know, a champagne-y sort of greeny grey colour. Almost like R34 Millennium Jade kind of colour. That's obviously not going to be the same, but um, yeah, I'm pretty decent nick. Um, only a couple of very minor marks on the steering wheel. Um, and I got this off eBay. I paid hundred and... 30 odd pound I think delivered so I don't think it was too bad um, normally they have stamped on the back the the date but um, it just says made in Italy type D32 which I'm guessing is the the model number 32 being 32 centimeters um, but yeah I think that will go quite nicely I could have left the center center ring off but unfortunately, you may be able to see on the camera, it's left a line around the edge, but it doesn't matter. I quite like the center horn ring, so ain't too bad. So yeah, so let's get started. Um, I disconnected a cup, uh, so I, I disconnected the battery a couple of hours ago. Um, I have actually left the lights on. Um, whether that makes any difference or not. I did pump the brakes a few times, so hopefully um, there's nothing left 
in the system. So we'll go ahead and remove the steering wheel and then we can get this boss on. So on the back of the steering wheel are some 10 mil bolts. There's one either side pretty much behind the horn button. And there's one behind where these spokes are. So these lower spokes, there's one. So with the four bolts now removed, the airbag unit should pull out. So you've got this plug junction box that needs to be removed. Then once that's done, you can then undo the center nut. So the center nut is 21 mil. I've left the steering lock on just to make it a little bit easier to um, crack the nut off. Um, so once you've cracked it off, um, I'll undo it so the nut is on the end of the thread and then you wanna wiggle the, the, the steering wheel from side to side, up and down, just to release it off the spline. You wanna make sure that the nut is left on because if you don't, when you wiggle the steering wheel and it actually does release, you'll probably end up smacking yourself in the face. So that's now loose. I can now remove the nut completely. And it should slide off. So you've still got the cable, that just needs poking through this hole. Um, I'll do this one handed. Yep. So there we have it. One steering wheel and airbag removed. So let's pop that down there. Right, so you want to make sure that you don't rotate this clock spring too much because um, you'll end up doing more bad than good. So I don't know if, I'll see if this wiring comes off, I'm pretty sure it does. Um, and then I might be able to get the boss on with this um, plastic cowling still attached, if not I might have to remove the screws, but um, let's find out. So I've left the clock spring in place and I've, if I can it, inside here I put the resistor. I've taped the, the blue plug up just so it's not as noticeable with the HKB um, cover, sleeve, whatever you want to call that. Um, I did have a bit of a blonde moment with the resistor thinking um, there's a blue and the orange plug on here um, and it really confused me on which one was which but I should have just looked at the steering wheel um, and that have told me the answer straight away so yeah the the resistor is just pushed in at the moment um, it's not a fantastic fit uh, until I can get something sorted because um, I don't have my soldering iron here at the moment which makes things a little bit more tricky. So, yeah, just need to put the cover back on and I think the trim's back together, put the screws back on and um, bolt the steering wheel up, uh, reconnect the battery and hopefully the steering wheel is straight. If not, then got to loosen the nut again or take the steering wheel off, loosen the nut, put the steering wheel on by a couple of bolts wiggle it to release the hub off the splines um, I mean I suppose you could use a mallet but I don't really want to do that so fingers crossed this is in the right place um, but yeah that, that's just fine tuning for, for later so yeah let's get this steering wheel on and uh, see what it looks like and there we go all fitted So, battery's now reconnected, so hopefully that resistor works. 
and hopefully the steel mill straight. So take it for a little test drive and see what it feels like. Uh, please excuse the high idle. That seems to be an ongoing issue. Um, but yeah, as you can see, airbag light is flashing six times. So um, that resistor obviously isn't working. So I'll get that sorted at some point. But it, at least it's, it's not going to stop the drivability of the car. So it's just going to be annoying flashing light for the time being. But um, but yeah, it's on. 